All right, guys, so in this video, we are going to be going over the current state of MLB Stadium bullpens. Obviously, bullpens, they are, I, I would say, a relatively significant part of a stadium. They always have to go somewhere, right? It's like, where do you put them? Horizontal, vertical, personally, I'm a fan of bullpens taking up as little space as possible. That's why I like the vertical look, not the horizontal sideways look. But either way, we are going to take a look at a few of the renovations and, and then where are bullpens trending in the future when it comes to the design of them within stadium. So this first one, you can see this is a Jacobs Field slash Progressive Field. They had a big bullpen renovation. It was part of their 2014 overall, you know, upper deck renovation. And they originally had the vertical looking bullpens right down the right field line and then out beyond center field, not smack dab in center field. That, that's important. You don't want the bullpens to be right in center field. You can see it's right off to the side in right center, but I love that look of those bullpens. Very small, very out of the way. And then they decided to change the design and go with a much more, in my opinion, obnoxious look. Now, there's a few different reasons why they did this. Number one, just the overall design they are going with, and this is what some other teams have done, the bullpen stacked on top of each other. So the one is below the other, kind of like stepping stones. The one reason I think they did this is to really mitigate the overall seats in right center field. And also there's the idea, you know, with the few the few rows in front and also the overhang behind that you could get a better look of the bullpens. But I don't know. I don't think, you know, sacrificing the ballpark's aesthetic is worth some fans being able to, you know, getting a, get a better view of, you know, bullpen pitchers warming up. I, I just don't view that. So personally, I'm not a fan of that design just because I think it takes up too much space. And then also the other thing, like the three or four rows in front, I just think that looks bad. L like it's not enough rows when you're looking at it from far away for it to look good. Aesthetically, it doesn't look good. It's hard to explain, but the fact that there's so few rows in front to me makes it look bad. The next one, it is Wrigley Field. So Wrigley Field, obviously very old stadium. They had their original bullpens right down, you know, both lines in foul territory. Teams are going away from that. They decided to renovate it and they put them under the bleachers. Obviously, it's not good in terms of if you're a bullpen pitcher warming up in like a dungeon under a bunch of seats. That's never fun. You want to warm up outside, but for just in terms of the ballpark, keeping it together, they did a really good thing getting rid of the bullpens altogether, tucking them under the stands, and that was part of their bigger renovation. They also added two new scoreboards, so I am a fan of that one. Uh, next, we have Oracle Park. So this one... I I just, I hate this one, honestly. They went with a weird design directly in center field with both bullpens in front of seats. Well, they took out seats, put bullpens in, and also moved the fences in. And I just don't like the look of bullpens being in dead center field. That's just an issue that I have personally with it. Now, they were kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place in terms of where they should put them. But me personally, what I would have done to Oracle Park is I would have given the center field batter's eye a massive renovation. And I actually would have tucked both of the bullpens down the left field line. Now, there's already a dead zone down the left field line at Oracle Park. It's like an emergency exit. If you just put both of the bullpens vertically right next to each other, right next to that exit, take out a few of the seats, and then redo the ent entire center field batter's eye, that's what I would have done to Oracle Park. Now, they're going to say, listen, we wanted to move the fences in. That's a whole nother argument. That is what it is. Obviously, a lot of teams are doing that, but I I'm not a fan of both of the bullpens being just, just in dead center field, both of them being horizontal. They really changed the seating out there. They made it very irregular because the bullpens took out some of the seating. So not a big fan of that design. Uh, moving on to the Rogers Center. So the Rogers Center... All they did was custom fit their bullpens last offseason to specifically fit baseball because Rogers Center originally was multi-purpose, although it very rarely, especially once we got into the, into the 2000s, it very rarely hosted football games. So there's really no reason for it to be multi-purpose. So they just really enclosed the bullpens, fit them perfectly up against the fence, 
and also brought the bullpens up. They elevated them. I think it's a nice design. They are both horizontal, but I think it looks decent personally, although it does kind of look a little bit fat right there. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not bad. I really do like the new Roger Center. Just the look of it, especially when it's sold out. Just there's so many different areas to stand, and it just looks really futuristic for a stadium that was built a while ago. I think they did a great job modernizing it. Next, we do have the famous uh, Coors Field bullpen with kind of the nature scene connected to it, little pathway out in center field. Probably the best bullpen if you are like a bullpen pitcher. Just amazing you know, landscape. I will say that extension wall that they put up out in right center, kind of annoying to look at. They did it because it is Coors Field and they're trying to prevent home runs. It's just a ridiculously high offensive park. The bullpens themselves do take up a lot of area. And the one negative thing you can say, like behind them, there's just a wall of advertising. You know what would be interesting? If they changed the wall of advertising and just added that ivy, you can see like the back and center field, they've got Ivy. What if they just added Ivy throughout that entire area instead of the little Bank of Colorado, the Chick-fil-A, take all that crap out, put the Ivy. The, obviously, they don't want to do that because they would lose money, but still, it would make the ballpark, I think, look way better. They should at least try it, you would think, for a few games. But either way, uh, Citizens Bank Park, very, very nice bullpen setup because their bullpen is technically tucked behind seats, or at least most of it is. You can see it's about like one-fourth of the bullpen. The lower bullpen is shown. The rest of it is hidden behind that triangle type seat design that Citizens Bank Park is known for. They do have a stacked design, so they've got one bullpen stacked on top of another, and then above that you have the fans, and then even above that, like above the concourses and above the concession stands, you have extension seating. So kind of a little interesting area when it comes to Citizens Bank Park that really doesn't get talked about a lot, but their bullpen setup certainly is good because, I mean, it's tucked behind stands, but it's also kind of shown and it's right next to the center field batter's eye with all the ivy and all the trees and plants and such. And now we're going to take a look at some of the newer stadiums. What are they doing with their bullpens? You can see this is probably the best modern design if you're going to go horizontal. Uh, the bullpen located in right center field at Truist Park. You've still got the beautiful center field nature area. You've still got your like emergency little exit right next to it where the grounds team comes onto the field. And then they also do have a bullpen down the left field line kind of perched in between stands to where you still have stands behind it and then also stands right at that 375 marker jetting out. I think that's a really good design when it comes to bullpens. Again, not a big fan of the horizontal look because I think it takes up too much space, but in this case, they did do a good job designing that. Uh, it just looks really good, especially from far away. Moving on to Global Life Field. So this is the newest MLB stadium. And this is another one where I really don't have an issue with the design. They are both horizontal, but you can see in right center field and left center, very nice and balanced. Uh, the only issue I really have in relation to the bullpen when it comes to Globe Life Field is the center field batter's eye is just so horrible. Like, I, I don't understand how you build a new stadium and you don't at least put a nice batter's eye. I understand you want to put a camera bay out there, but there's ways to do it while also bringing in some plants, some type of, you know, landscaping that would make the ballpark a lot better and a lot more digestible. You could put up a green patch or do something, uh, but they didn't do any of that. But in general, I would say the bullpens out there, th there's nothing horribly wrong with them. They look fine. This is T-Mobile Park. So T-Mobile Park has a very strange design where both of the bullpens are horizontal and they're both right next to each other. So they basically take up the entire lower area of left field outside of that little, you know, those little two sections down the left field line. You can see it's just straight bullpens and then like a wall with a scoreboard. And then above that, there is that bleacher seating. And then also you can see in left center field, there is kind of a bar area where you can watch you know, them warm up and things like that. So I'm not really a big fan of this design personally. It is interesting whenever they sell out T-Mobile Park, it just seems like there's a bunch of people congested in one area because there's a lot of people there and it's just like a bunch of standing room areas out there along with the bullpen 
in terms of that. And then this is a potential future stadium. So this is Royals Park. This concept may or may not be chosen. We don't know yet. They're deciding between two different stadiums, but I think this is a very interesting bullpen design. Both of the bullpens, this is kind of like progressive field but I think it's a little bit better because they're both down the left field line rather than being located in right center and there's no stands in front of them. Like there's no row, it's just straight bullpen and then another bullpen kind of stacked like that. I really don't have an issue with that design. Wow, I didn't even know they had a big waterfall going down right there. That's I, I didn't realize that in the original rendering. So they have a waterfall out in the center field batter's eye area. And then on top of that, they have another waterfall, and then they have more waterfalls in right center. I mean, I didn't even realize that. I got a little bit sidetracked there. But yeah, that's a good bullpen design with them stacked on top of each other. And then, of course, you do have, like, the Oakland Coliseum. If you're wondering, you know, why is the Oakland Coliseum not renovating? Why do they not move their bullpens out where all those stairs are, you know, out in left and right center? It's just they don't want to invest any money into any type of renovations to the Coliseum at this point. It, it's a waste of money if you do it. So, it's you know, what what's the purpose when... When the Coliseum is very likely going to be demolished in, I don't know, three or four years time anyways, maybe even sooner depending on what ends up happening with the A's, whether or not they move to the minor league ballpark, but the idea that you're going to renovate the Coliseum and move the bullpens to the outfield, it just doesn't make much sense considering the timeline, it would be a waste of money, any renovation to the Coliseum would be a waste of money at this point. So that is going to do it for the current state of MLB stadium bullpens. Most of them are horizontal and now we're seeing the design where they are being stacked on top of each other. And then on top of that, there's an overlook for fans to look into both of the bullpens. But guys, make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.